Papua New Guinean women have ventured into an industry that was once thought as male dominant. However, in recent times, the participation has been attributed to many more awareness on gender equality provided by the government, churches, non government organizations, faith based organizations, and many other stakeholders. This has allowed for women to come out from their comfort zone and be exposed in enhancing their knowledge and skills. And in the platform of the PNG ICT cluster, women have been given more option. Out of the PNG ICT cluster, an initiative was also born, which is the PNG Women in STEM. So really about promoting inclusion um, and, and encouraging more women. And as you can see, um, the, the volunteers, a lot of the volunteers who are also ICT businesses are women. And also that's, that's our giving back to our people is, is to promote that as well. Women's success stories and achievements was also highlighted on Thursday during the pre-launch fundraising dinner held under the theme Sharing Innovation, Creating Our Future. The event brought together aspiring and practicing ICT experts, sharing their innovative ideas with the presence of patron, justice and attorney general minister, Davis Stephen. Remember Wilfred that came out here? He would be one of the youngest and maybe only um, inventor in the country because he's already registered a IP uh, invention and it's recognized in Australia but still he struggles to um, get business in the country. So when we looked at, looked at the patent system we realized that 90% of patents registered in the country are foreign owned and of that 90%, 60% belong to the mining companies and we thought to ourselves Okay, something's not right here. When we look at all the other economies, such as Silicon Valley, um, at a time where the global recession was occurring. The PNG ICT cluster is collaborating with the public and private sectors, along with Academia, providing the visibility through its 30 membership. PNG ICT cluster started in 2014. It was a European Union project um, that was funded for the Pacific region. And there were four island countries, um, Vanuatu, Samoa, Tonga, and PNG. And ICT was selected as an um, economic cluster pilot to be done in Papua New Guinea. Um, the PNG ICT cluster's vision is to be the Silicon Valley of the Pacific. It's to promote the local ICT businesses, startups, and entrepreneurs, and also to attract the diverse talent that we have in, in the sector itself. So it's, it's, um, it doesn't matter what age range people are, it, it attracts both the young, right, to the to elderly, to participate in the ICT industry. Internet cost remains one of the biggest challenges in Papua New Guinea. So we're also part of um, NICTA's um, and government initiative to bring broadband down to the rural communities. So we're also working on the internet exchange point, which is really about re reducing, keeping local traffic local and international traffic bound. And that will then reduce the internet cost. And we also met with Emily Lea, who runs the Enova Software Solutions. We started in 2013, so we are partnered with uh, National Statistics Office and we've been working with the statistical business registry so for the past two years we've uh, done a trial and we've gone out to other other provinces it has been a success so next year we're looking forward to working with them to continue the registration of the um, data for the businesses and collecting. Innova Software Solutions specializes in collecting data, data that is, is important for decision makers. Um, we make, we have an Innova platform that we follow, which we use a mobile to collect the information and we upload it to the cloud cloud technology using cloud technology and we have a, a console that we use and it is real-time data that we collect it's projected ICT can generate more revenue but that will happen through the support of political bureaucrats at the moment 
it's been slow, but hopefully um, PNG can work forward to bring, bring in the revenue up. The PNG ICT cluster says the APEC 2018 summit is the way forward for them to be recognized also as a global leader in ICT as the Silicon Valley of the Pacific. And we hope that the APEC would recognize this, that Papua New Guineans can also be, uh, provide this, uh, this kind of software in ICT. Yes. Well, um, we have the APEC 2018 that's coming up and the topic is around digital economies. So we're actually at the really prime time where we can start looking at our local digital economy and where our, our ICT talent are and what are they doing in terms of you know, participating in being solution providers. So in the ICT cluster, that's, that's basically what we are trying to promote is really be the solution, solution providers for the, the challenges that we are going through. Fabian Hacklitz, National Limited News.